What's up? It's Stone Vulcan. Uh, so I happen to be a <clears throat> huge officer nerd. I love talking officers. I love um, <clears throat> debating officer combinations. I love all those kinds of things. Anything officer related, I've always overinvested in officers. So today's video is going to talk about one officer in particular, her name, da -da -da -da, Carol. Carol is one of my favorite officers uh, for a number of reasons, but uh, primarily it's because of the fact that she is <clears throat> a designated don't with me officer, right? So when defending in battle against a player, right? This is what they had to uh, nerf against backwards <clears throat> early on. And that's why I was like totally dismayed with her early on. However, this works against any player that's attacking you. You don't have to be in your base. They just have to be attacking you. So I'll circle back to that later. The other thing that Carol does is the uh, weapons expert ability, right? So 25% boost to your weapons damage. Now, just to put that into perspective, right? Carol is level 10 here. Um, Cadet Kirk, for me, is max level, and he is doing 20%, right? So at, at level 10, right, Carol is doing a substantial amount of damage uh, increase for your ships. So uh, there's Carol, you know, to promote her just as an FYI, right? This, you can see in the top right corner, that's, that's Federation tokens that are required, right? To uh, upgrade her. So just keep that in mind as you're saving up. But the uh, most clear path to obtaining Carol is going to be uh, obviously the 30 day packs. This is worth saving for, okay? If you're questioning, should I be, you know, getting these Keenser, you know, smaller packs and trying to get these UC resources a little faster, right? No. In my opinion, and again, I always know this is just my opinion. I like there are people that know better than me, right? But in my opinion, save for Carol, save for all the UC resources that you're going to see there, but primarily save for Carol um, because she's worth it. So a few ways that I like to use Carol. Uh, the first and most obvious is as an actual base defender. So any tier two ship is going to be fantastic for uh, defending your base, right? Whether that's a Bortos, Sally, whatever the hell the Romulans have. I'm just kidding. Uh, anyways, the tier two ships all have... I think, um, these uh, secondary type of effects, right? Where it took me forever to figure out what the Portos, like when defeated in battle. I'm like, so if I raid a base and I get defeated in battle, like all my ships, like how long does that last for? This is the Bortos, by the way. This is a side note uh, for free with the Bortos, right? This effect is meant to help you defend your base, right? So when you get attacked and someone attacks your Bortos first, which the ships always take the first damage, right? Boom, somehow they beat your Bortos. Now everything else that you have has a 24% bonus. That's, that's what that means. So anyways, uh, when defending, right, this... Uh, is going to be something that you want to do with Carol. I always, I, I literally have an entire cartoon, right? Dedicated to the fact that I, I don't, I don't um, ever really equip a battleship without Livis and Javade. It's so hard. It, it's, they both do such big bonuses based on their uh, officer abilities. So you get 40% to your armor with Javade there. And uh, with this one, uh, with Livis, sorry, 
you get a uh, whole health by 50%, right? Important to note that the whole health doesn't activate during station events with Livis. So you won't see him pop up. That really was messing with my head early on. Um, but anyways, this is one way that I'll use uh, Carol for base defense. Um, but a lot of times too, what I'll end up doing is switching uh, those two right there. And this is now my, uh, <clears throat> you know, obviously I would equip my bench, right, with some solid officers or whatever. But this is this is one of my best crews for station attacking. Uh, Javade is going to give me the shield piercing to try and help out kind of the team as a whole. But, you know, doing burn effects, doing uh, sh uh <laughs> whole breach and inspiring morale, right? For stations in particular, armadas, right? Those don't apply to other uh, uh, players in your armada. It's just for you. So anyways, Javade will help drop the shield down. The other thing that I want to just say real quick is uh, for station defense, if you don't have a tier two ship, Right. If you only have a tier one ship, whether it's a D3 or any other ship. Right. Uh, another really solid combo is to drop in Carol with uh, Mitchell. The reason being, as soon as you get hit with a critical hit, right, 30 percent, that's 30 percent on top of her 25 percent for me at this point at level 10. Right. And then uh, Carol's applied science is super effective at mitigating damage and it's not even actual damage mitigation it's just literally decreasing the weapon damage of the other ship by 40 percent so just like she's giving us a 25 percent boost she's taking away 45 percent for them that's a 65 percent swing in total damage for the uh interaction the the one thing that i'll say right Base defense is very obvious with Carol, but as I mentioned early on, Carol's special ability doesn't, uh, and by special ability, what I mean is applied science doesn't require that she be in the base. And so if you're ever in a situation, right, where you're uh, getting attacked by people and you know you're going to get attacked, maybe you're defending an armada or you're defending an ally, right? If you know that you can bait someone into attacking you, put Carol in the driver's seat, let her do that damage reduction. I like to put Crass in just because of the fact that then he's also going to like further, uh, you know, take down their entire ship and their officers that they've equipped. It's just a better chance in an upset, right? If you know you're going to go a lot of rounds with the opponent, uh, Decius is a solid option as well because he's going to give you 7% per round. But obviously with a D3, that's not going to be the case. Um, so anyways, if you can somehow, right, and like I said, in particular when you're defending an armada and you know you're going to get attacked or you know you're going to get attacked for, for any given reason, right, Carol is the perfect officer to put into your captain spot um, because she does not have to be in the base. So a few different ways to use Carol. Hopefully this helps out. Uh, obviously combining with her um, partners here, right? So if I were to mix this up and go with Mitchell and, um, uh, sorry, Zara. Right now, whoops, now Carol, her applied science is doing 60% uh, of the opponent's weapons damage is, is reduced. So that that's substantial. And then again, you've got 25%. So you've got an 85% swing in weapons damage alone uh, for the two ships. Hopefully helpful and hopefully you enjoyed. Um, I wish I had a great knock-knock joke to end on, but... Meh.